Robert very direct to me. He said, "Your lineage is not Pa. Your lineage is not that Wing Chun at all." And I said, "The guy who present to you doesn't know what it is. He did a good job, but he doesn't know what it is." So I fly down to LA to visit uh, Robert. And I show him the concrete. I show him the sets, and I show him the teaching my sifu. And since then, Robert and me become a brother in Wing Chun martial arts. Okay. So at that time, I told Rene and uh, and uh, Robert and said, uh, we, "We we can call this Nanyang Wing Chun. We need to call it Chou Ka Wing Chun or Chou Family Wing Chun." So that's where the term Chou Ga Wing Chun exists in the map of Wing Chun history. It started in America, in LA, at that time. Okay. So my question is: it, Why is it every day today everybody talk about Chou Ga Wing Chun? Why, when they write that in uh, what are the complete Wing Chun, they don't call it Chou Ga Wing Chun? Did they really respect the ancestor? Obviously not. Why do I have to say it? Okay. And why do I have to change the name to Chou Kao Wing Chun and tell everybody this is Chou Kao Wing Chun, this is not Nanyang Wing Chun? So. Because I found out from the Nanyang Wing Chun chapter, the author doesn't know what my Si Gong teach and what Chou Ga Wing Chun is. I have to teach him what the King Kang Tiu taught the most basic is. This is a letter from him to me. We don't have internet at that time, and he is、uh, good to. Draw this diagram and send it to me for verifications, and that lead down to I go down to Singapore. All this ladder and the concrete discussed in Singapore, and in the tip of the Singapore, I let. The other lineage of Choka video, my Shilin Hao set and my wooden dummy, and of course present the concrete share to them too. Okay, so that's what happened. And、uh, over here, I like to to tell you one thing. Cho family do not have sets, wooden dummy sets, like Yip Man lineage or Yin Kui San lineage. Cho family or Yip Gam lineage in the Cho family using the techniques in the Yip Gam Xiu Lin Tao sets to practice with the wooden dummy. The wooden dummy, which is, I share with Singapore. In two thousand, where they videotaped me, is a creations of my Si Hu Chou Hong Chui, based on the Yip Gam Xiu Lin Tao sets. And if you want to look at the close body techniques of Yip Gam Wing Chun, it is the third sections of the Yip Gam Xiu Lin Tao, which is a close body technique that you can apply direct. The third section. Do the wooden dummy. So that is what it is. Okay. Also about the Er Mei Si Er Zhuang. This kinkit is not belong to me. Okay. All this kinkit, the writing is from other lineage. 
Why is here? There's a means a zhuang terminology and a means a zhuang terms. If I created it, it doesn't make sense, right? So, as far as I say, I have my Si Heng's Quinquit, my brother's Quinquit, other lineage Quinquit. All have a means a zhuang. So can I go back to uh to to the Chou family and and, and, and and change all these things which happen exist in different uh, lineages? Think about it. And what I would say is that if one do not know that it exists, doesn't mean that it is not there. One just don't know. Okay? So there's about Chou family, the Wunadami, the Sets, and the Hermes Erzhuang. Okay. The last thing I'd like to share with you is on the Yip Gam lineage. So, when I was in Singapore, the night prior to I let the other lineage videotaped me on my uh, Sudan Tao sets and uh, the wooden dummy sets. My brother, who wrote that uh, Queen Quit, asked me, he said, have you ever think about it? I think you are naive. You give this thing out, which uh, Sifu asked you to keep. I told my brother this. I said first, see who treat me like a son, sharing this to, with me. My last name is not Cho, but he shared the internal uh, teaching to me. I'm not going to see any Cho family member losing this up because we have to remember this this is from the Chou family. We're drinking the water. We know where the source from. We are not going to see other people uh, in the Chou family suffer. We need to give this back. Disregard of what. And besides, I'm a design engineer. I, Wing Chun is not my, my, uh, my profession. If I don't use it, I don't need it. Why is that I have to hug it and bring it to me with to, in a, into my coffee? Why don't you share it? So everybody have it and everybody grow the thing and uh, so everybody benefit. Okay? So this is what I told my uh, brother. So about a year, a few months later, politics start to stir up. Studying somebody bad mouth my sifu. Remember, I give them the wooden dummy sets and so forth. I share with them the hin kam q tap and other things from si gong and so forth. And they come back, back bad mouth my sifu. And go various ways, try to get my sets because they know I inherit uh, different sets. You know, they don't have to do that. They just have to say properly, Hendrik, I need this thing. Please help me on this. We lost it. It's simple. I just send this thing up. But it is not. It is going through all kinds of stuff. Politics. So, Sifu Robert Ju advised me, he said, Hendrik, why don't you just call this part of art Yik Gang Wing Chun? So we preserve this part of art. We preserve this. And because of, I think he is right. You know, we need to preserve this. If we lose this or we screw this up, we lose one big piece of 
1840s or even further 1700s Wing Chun and uh, we must not do that that's why we call it the Yikam Wing Chun and from 2000 to today is uh, 15 years later The existence of the Yikam transform, the six core elements, the 13th state, is to make it simple, make it uh, straightforward in a systematic and scientific way so people can practice and understand the Yikam Shulim Tao. Otherwise, one can spend a whole lifetime mimicking culture and don't know what it is. We cannot afford it in this modern time. And as I mentioned, Yikam Shulim Tao is about transformation. It's not about mimic posture. It's not about techniques only. It's about transformations of the body and be able to enter to different states. 